Max, like even watching that, I don't feel like watching Max and Jose. I think that Max would still have a lot of would have a really hard time with Connor. I think just when you look at their styles, I think Connor just he's a better kickboxer, faster, more powerful. Um, you know, Max is great, but that obviously has to be the fight that he wants. He lost to Connor. What was that? 2013 Harrington. Yeah, um, 13. 21 years old, well, obviously a different fighter completely, but do you think that Max Holloway has improved enough to beat Conor McGregor? Because that's the only fight that I'm super interested in seeing. I mean, Frankie is there, which is great, but once again, I think he's going to beat Frankie. I think his style you know, matches up really yeah, well with well, Frankie's. Well, Frankie Edgar is going to be the next person in line, that's for sure, and I think... That fight would probably happen without Frankie even needing to fight again. I mean, yeah, remember, he, he, was, he was scheduled, and then I think he got a fractured orbital, which is crazy. Um, and that's interesting to see where Max is because, excuse me, drinking too much coffee. Um, Max is always, you know, he fights on the feet, and he, he's predominantly fought a lot of guys that want to stand with him. Obviously, Frankie being a wrestler, he's going to have a very, very different game plan. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a good yardstick, whatever you want to fucking call it. It's going to be a good test for Max as a champion to see if he can beat all these different styles. And then once he beats Frankie Edgar, though, he's pretty much already cleared out the division at 25 years old. I mean, Ricardo Lamas. All right, there's still Cub Swanson. Cub Swanson's a, a fun matchup if he wins this weekend. Uh, but generally, if all the big names he's already beaten. So, yeah, you're right. I mean, a match with him and Connor, I think at 25, almost 26, if he beats Frankie and he beats Cub Swanson, I mean, who else is there? I think he should contemplate going up to 155 and fight the champion there, whether that's Connor, Tony, Khabib, whoever. I mean, of course, we don't know what Connor's going to do. I mean, we're talking about Max fighting Connor. Connor's yet to come back and defend the lightweight belt. We don't know if he's going to do that. Manny Pacquiao is calling him out for a boxing fight. That'd do huge numbers. Mm. If I was Connor, I mean, Dana said this week that he doesn't know if Connor's ever going to fight again. And probably by that, he means in the UFC. If I'm oh, Connor, yeah. I've, if I'm Connor, I take the Pacquiao fight all day long. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? I, I mean, yeah, exactly. He... I mean, that wouldn't be as big as the Mayweather fight. But Jesus Christ, people love to watch Conor and people love to watch Pacquiao. That I don't is even, a huge fight. You know this more than me because you've sparred in boxing, you've sparred in Muay Thai, kickboxing, MMA, everything. I would have to assume, as a fan, you're not as beat up at the end of a boxing fight versus an MMA fight. Or, like, it from a fan's depend, perspective. It depends on the fight. It depends on the fight. I mean... For example, I mean, look at my, my my last fight. You know, I didn't have a mark on me. <laughs> I didn't have a mark. I've got a big, gigantic gash that's still there today on the inside of my lip where he caught me with the left hook and then my lip crushed into my nice, big, shiny, brand-new teeth and uh, cut them wide open. Uh, other, other than that, I, I haven't got a mark on me. Now, if you go through five rounds of a hard back-and-forth MMA fight, you're getting punched, kick, knee, elbow, ground and pound, and it's back and forth the whole time. Dude, you, you, you can feel... You, you, it, it takes weeks. It takes weeks for that to um, to go away. Yeah. But I've never, but I've never been through a 12-round boxing War. fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? A world title fight where it's back and forth like that either. I'm assuming it's pretty sim uh, similar. I mean, okay, in boxing, granted, it's mainly headshots and body shots, but you still got the fatigue on the system, the nervous system. You still got the the the, the blows to the face and the body. Well, you know, I remember. After my Anderson Silva fight, that was five rounds back and forth, I, I went to Rome on a little vacation, and uh, I was limping around there with stitches all over my face um, for quite some time. And everywhere, everywhere I went, every restaurant, I felt the need to explain to like the manager or the waitress that uh, I was a professional fighter and I had a fight. And my wife was like, why do you keep doing that? It's embarrassing, Michael. I'm like, embarrassing? I'm sat here with 40 stitches in my fucking face and two black eyes. I look like a thug. You know, I look like I've been in a street fight. I want them to know that you haven't got a fucking psychopath in your restaurant. I want them to know that they actually have a nice, level-headed, professional athlete that's just competed at the weekend. That's why I'm telling them. Yeah, you. Here's the thing with the MMA fight, though. There's also the leg kicks. There's also being, you know, ground and pound, having your, you know, gr grind it out on the ground. You're grappling. Let me tell you this. I, talking of leg kicks, I've still got a lump on my leg 
from the GSP fight. He, he must have caught me with one. I still haven't watched the fight back. He must have caught me with a good leg kick uh, to my left leg. But still towards the bottom of my thigh, I still have a lump there from one of the kicks. It was sore for the first couple of weeks. It's not sore now, but there's still like some kind of swelling. So to go back to what you're saying, yeah, of course, with the leg kicks, with the knees to the body, the elbows, the cuts, everything. It takes a long, long time. Uh, Connor yeah. looked great after that loss to Floyd Mayweather. You got bigger gloves. There's no elbows. There's no knees. You don't take as much damage. Now, of course, I shouldn't say that because that's disrespectful because a lot of boxers do lose their life, you know. So I'm, I, I, I want to take that back. A lot of boxers lose their life. On the surface of it, uh, what the eye sees, it doesn't look like you take as much damage. But unfortunately, the damage that a boxer take is concussive blows to the brain. Yeah, the brain, the, the brain, eyes can't see that. The brain trauma is probably, I mean, I'm assuming it's, it's much greater because you're being punched in the face over and over again. That was kind of the age-old debate. Um, yep. MMA versus boxing, being concussed, giving the standing eight count, stand up, you get the opportunity to be knocked down again. Um, so there's that. But I'm just talking about, like, forget all that, because I don't think most fighters, especially in the moment, you know, you're 25, 26 years old like Connor is, I don't think you're thinking about, oh, my God, brain trauma. You're thinking about how you feel at the end of the fight. And I don't think that Connor felt physically as bad at the end of the Floyd Money no, Mayweather fight. No, 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 He was fine. He was having whiskey at the post fight. Yeah. Press conference. He was being fine. You know, For I mean, $100 million. Dollars. Say again? For $100 million. Fuck yeah, I'm taking yeah. that Pacquiao fight. Well, of course. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why, of course, why he's going to do that. Of course, he's going to take a fight with Pacquiao or even fucking Malinaji. Malinaji was talking shit, you know. Um, do you think he could beat Malinaji? Probably. There's a good possibility. I mean, who knows? I mean, if you believe that sparring footage, which yeah. was highly edited, to be fair, but why. You know, I mean, I don't know much about Malinaji. I mean, I know he struggled the last few fights of his career. Uh, he, he went on, on like a three or four fight losing streak, and he's been retired for a while, and he's a much smaller guy, you know. So that's a better opponent for Conor as a boxer than Floyd Mayweather is. Of course it is. Uh, and he's a better opponent than what Pacquiao is, even though Pacquiao has lost a step these days. Um, but still, a fight with Pacquiao would be huge. Could you imagine the numbers that would do as well? So if I'm Conor McGregor, yeah, sure, fuck it. I could go fight a killer in Khabib or Tony Ferguson. And, and probably you know, lose. He's going to get paid a lot of money, probably $10, 15000000 million. Or I could put the gloves on again. Not to mention, if you're training for a guy like Khabib or Tony Ferguson, he's going to go back now. He's going to get his wrestling on point. He's going to get his submissions on point. He's going to start working, you know, when you just train for a boxing fight, it's very simple. It's much, much simpler. You just focus on the boxing. You haven't got to do all these different things. You haven't got to work on your takedown defense. You haven't got to work on getting back to your feet. You haven't got to figure all this other shit out. It's very draining physically and mentally. Boxing, it's simple. I'm not saying it's easier because it's not. It, it, it's a purified, much more specialized combat form, just one type. But it's simpler. There's no headaches. There's no stress. It's you're boxing. That's it. Um, and, of course, that's all he's done for the last year. You know, don't tell me that he's wrestling and jiu-jitsu hasn't got a little bit sloppier because it's like anything. The more you use it, the better it gets. So he's going to have to catch up in all that regard. So he's not going to fight MMA anytime soon, I don't think. And yeah. if I was him, I'm just saying if I was if I was him, I'd take the money. That's why we all do it. And I'd go fight Pacquiao. Yeah, and also if you look at kind of just like from the ego standpoint too, how much does it rub Connor's ego when you're, you know, you're very much the show when you're doing what he did with Mayweather. The UFC, the, you know, they're fucking King Daddy. They let everyone know that it's the UFC's brand. The, those three letters are, are, are everywhere. You know, it's really such a, a different thing. And it, you watch, and, you know, I'm not a, I don't watch boxing at all, but I really did pay close attention to the Mayweather and the, the McGregor press conferences and all the hype leading up to it. And it's, they focus so much on just the fighters. It's like, I don't even know... I don't even know what title they fought for. I have no, or not. I, they didn't fight for a title. I know uh, Mayweather titles were. They didn't fight for a title. They just made up. They called it the money belt. But I, uh, which was sick, by the way. But um, what what organization what? sanctioned it? I don't know if it was WBO, WBA. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, no, me neither. Um, yeah, yeah, no, you got a point. But yeah, listen. At the end of the day, I mean, who knows what he's doing? 
He's still running around getting chased by the Irish fucking mob, by all accounts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking enjoying himself. That's what he's doing. That's yeah. what he's doing right now. So everyone talking shit and all these... Oh, you see all these fucking people, all these journalists writing this and writing that. Oh, what is he doing? What is he doing? He's going off the deep end. I'll tell you what he's fucking doing. He's fucking enjoying himself. He looks like he's having a great time. All right, is he is he doing a few wrong things here and there? Maybe. So what? You know, good for him. Yeah, get, you let know, me tell you something. He's got he's got probably hundred and forty million dollars sat in his bank account, and he's having a grand old fucking time. Let me. So God bless him. Why not? Good for him. Anybody that's talking shit, let me see. Let's make you twenty five years. How old is Connor now? Is he twenty six? I don't. He's like twenty nine or something. I think twenty nine. Okay, whatever it is, right? You know, get make give put you in your twenties. I'm gonna give you hundred and forty million dollars. I'm gonna <laughs> give you an ounce of cocaine, and I'm gonna give you three hot women let's see what you do let's see where what happens yeah yeah it won't be good that'll be a fact yeah you'll probably handle it a lot worse than him yeah 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 so yeah 